Court Reporter with Stovall and Associates. Hello and welcome back to Court Reporter with Stovall and Associates. I'm here with uh, Judge Robert Lane, um, rerunning for another six years. And uh, before our break, uh, we were talking about CASA, and I know you have to go through some pretty extensive education to be a judge and continuing education to be a judge. Um, you want to talk about that a little bit? I will. You bet. You have to get you have to get your bachelor four years bachelor's degree, and then you have to go to law school, get your law degree for three years, and then you have to be an attorney for ten years, and then you can run for judge. And once you become a judge, you have to go to continuing legal education courses every year, and get a certain number of credits, ten twenty credits every year. I've been doing that for fourteen years, and I've received the Judicial Academic Excellence Award from the Nevada Supreme Court because of all the work I've done with capital murder cases, scientific experts, advanced evidence, and I've taken a number of courses at UNR for their judicial master's degree program. I've pretty much done everything except taking the big final uh, program that you have to do. So I may get that this coming six years. Wonderful. Yeah. And uh, would you say you enjoyed being a lawyer better or a judge better? I enjoyed being a judge. Yeah, I, I like, like telling you guys to shut up. Rather than, <laughs> I'm just kidding. Uh, being a judge is very rewarding. I love the job. The Lord's blessed me uh, with a good job and family and a good community. And uh, I hope I get to do it for that. A few people have asked me to run for the Nevada Supreme Court oh, or really? the new appellate court if they create one. But, that, you know, that's basically sitting in an office reading cases, researching and writing. I prefer to be in the courtroom in the trenches dealing with the people. Right. Talking about cases, I know there's been a few controversial ones out there. Not many in a 14-year span, but uh, the one I always hear about is the one where the, late, the little girl lost her horse. Yeah, I felt what, really bad about that What was one. the story with that case? I felt really bad about it because after we made the decision, what happened was uh, she had a horse on her property and a neighbor didn't like it, so he filed an, a lawsuit that she shouldn't have a horse there pursuant to the, the codes. And So it was basically a simple case. We got all the codes and read them, and sure enough, made the decision that, yeah, according to the to the rules, you can't have a horse on that property. She didn't actually lose her horse. The newspapers made it sound like I took her horse away from her. She right, still right. had him. She just had to pin him up somewhere else. And uh, it was appealed up, and the Supreme Court upheld me. It was the right decision. Like I said, I've never had a case reversed, a major case reversed. That's wonderful. And yeah, and I imagine in every case there's somebody that's going to be mad at you. Usually. <laughs> you know? That's the negative about the job. But right. I've had a number of people I've sent to prison and other civil cases I've decided on where the people came up to me and said, I appreciate it. You did a good job and, and you did the right thing. Good, good. Yeah. Well, I know. I don't, I'm not sure if you were the one that handled the case, but I know our house got robbed numerous years ago, gosh, 10 years ago now probably, and they kid got out on bail and ended up murdering some poor kid. So wow. me and my family were definitely a little uneasy. And once uh, you or whichever judge it was gave him a 22 year sentence, I know it put a lot of relief for our family. Yeah, you know, you know judges aren't omniscient and sometimes we have to make calls, you know. Do right. I give the guy five years or put him on probation? You gather all the information from P and P and the attorneys and the victims and everybody testifies and then you make that call. And pray you never make the wrong one that you let a guy out and he goes and kills somebody. Kills somebody, or right? So far, so so far as I know, I haven't had one of those. I've good, good, done a good job. Um, there was a. I hope I'm not messing up the name Roberts, where the guy got Robbins? shot. Robbins. Yeah. Robbins. Yes. Yeah, the Supreme Court came back last week and upheld me on all those decisions. They did. Yeah, he had a lot of attorneys. It was a long trial. It was on the news and YouTube and. Uh, I made a couple of tough calls in that trial that I thought were the right calls, and the Supreme Court said, yep, and upheld me. So that's rewarding also. That's good. So it seems like even, because I know in the papers, like you said, you get a lot of the negative side. You don't get the positive. Yeah. Um, and that one was a pretty big case. Uh, that's that's awesome to hear the Supreme Court came back. and. Yeah. And uh, we did the right thing. Did the right thing. All through the trial, they'll tell you how stupid the judge is and all the wrong things he did. But in the end, we did the right thing, and it was a good case. And that's true with most of the murder cases, child abuse, and other cases we've done. And uh, you had that case, Feeney? Am I saying that? Fellini. Fellini. Yeah, that's a recent one that's been in the newspaper. Yeah. Yep. Uh, yeah, it was just recently in front of me, and uh, uh, we've uh, made a decision on it, reversed uh, the prior judgment. Uh, based on, I believe it was a fraud, representation of fraud to the court. 
and I'm sure they're going to appeal it, take it up to the Supreme Court. We'll see what happens. See what happens. Okay. Well, um, I, if you do get reelected, which I'm sure you probably will, but if you do, yep, knock on wood, right? Um, do you have any goals or plans for the next six years? Well, the main thing that we've been working on uh, for the last few years and we're going to keep working on is modernizing the court with computers and communications because we have to such a big jurisdiction it'd be nice if we could find a way to use satellites or Skype and get, you know, hold court without having to go up north all the time for perfunctory matters. But another issue that we're going to start working on, Judge Walker and I just met today and we're talking about it, is uh, we've got to improve security in the courtroom. I've had two or three guys in the last few years uh, threaten to kill me. Oh, wow. And one of them's going to try to prelim in a, next week. And uh, I've been subpoenaed to testify in that. And he called up the sheriff's office and said, I'm going to kill people and stuff so we got to um, we've got to get some security in the courtroom but the county you know it's tough because you got to have employees which means benefits and costs money and money's tight in the county right now so we got to find some kind of remedy and that's one of the projects we're going to be working on the next year or so wonderful well I think we're almost out of time here so we got probably another minute or two to uh, talk to your uh, voters out there is there anything you want to say yeah to them? Fred are you out there Fred my <laughs> voter um, I would just say to people to uh, get familiar with the candidates, go to candidates' nights, read their literature. Don't believe things that people tell you about candidates. If they say Joe's cheating on his wife or Fred's drinking, go talk to the candidates and ask them what their positions are and how they're doing. And uh, uh, if you want to help out with the campaign, get in touch with me. Contact me through the email or, the, or, or my com uh, website page, and uh, I could use help putting up signs. They're constantly falling over. My daughter and her friends have been putting up my signs for me, and I'm very grateful to them. Wonderful. It's a lot of hard work, but the signs fall over. If you want to help with signs, if you want to donate some money, uh, I've had hundreds of people tell me, you're a great judge, I'm all for you. I could, I could use the help with uh, paying for the ads in the newspaper and the mailers. Uh, so get in touch with my Facebook page or get on my website. And uh, if you want to help out with the campaign, I'd sure appreciate it. And uh, uh, make sure you get out and vote and, and uh, help the community by picking Wonderful. the right people. Well, Judge, you want to know who all the right people are? <laughs> for sure. Oh, wait, we're out of time. We're out of time, okay, Judge. Well, we're out of time. I won't tell you who to vote for. Thank then. you for being on the show. You're welcome. We'll sir. see you guys next week here on Court Reporter. Thank you. Court Reporter with Stovall and Associates.